The Toronto Maple Leafs hosting the Vancouver Canucks. The Canucks are plus 150 on the money line. The Leafs are minus 178. The over-under is six and a half goals. Vancouver getting a goal and a half is minus 161, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. The Maple Leafs laying a goal and a half are plus 137, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two. Both of these teams are on losing streaks. The Canucks are on a one-game losing streak. The Leafs are on a two-game losing streak. The Canucks are 7-7 seven and seven against the spread. The over is 10-4 and four in the games in which they've played, and they are 2-4-2 two, and two on the road. The Leafs are 3-11 and 11 against the spread. The under is 9-4 and four in the games in which they've played, and they are 5-1-1 one, and one at home. Head-to-head, -head, the Canucks are on a two-game winning streak. The home team is 9-1 and one in their last 10 meetings. Vancouver is 6-4 and four against the Leafs in their last 10. The under is 7-2-1 and one in their last 10 meetings. The under 6.5 is 8-2. The underdog has won the last two games. The underdog is 6-4 and four on the money line. The team getting a goal and a half is 6-4 and four on the money line. And there have been two one-goal games in their last 10 meetings. The last game that they played, the Canucks won 6-4 on the road. They were an underdog. The game before that, the Canucks won 3-2 as an underdog. The game before that, the Maple Leafs won 5-1. The game before that, the Maple Leafs won 4-1. The Leafs are playing bad, but I think they win at home. I think this will be a close game. I'm going to take Toronto with the money line, Vancouver getting the goals, and I'm going to go under and say that this is like a 3-2, 2-1 kind of game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.